Martin Villamine, Messina, South Africa. Now, over and above the, the elusive Adjoite and Papagoite, which we always seek, the form of the crystallization from this deposit is just so magnificent. Here we have almost a floater. Uh, the white core, the white fluffy core in these crystals would most likely be some kale and clay, as you see here, going through this side. So that would be the one termination. Unfortunately, a little bit of contact up here. So maybe it did sit on a matrix like this. So maybe qu not quite a floater. Now we're going to turn it over for a different point of display. Crystallization right across there. Going across there. Very, very intricate crystallization. Extremely difficult to photograph these guys. And uh, 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 I think the only way to actually to show them off properly is by means of video. So one actually understands the angles on these guys. Now what I'm going to do, now that we've seen the crystallization on this, let's look for some color. And of course what we want is the the Adjoite, which would be a, almost a turquoisey color. I don't see any here. I'm a little bit color challenged. I usually hand these to my wife before I offer them on the on the market. Reddishness to pinkishness would be some hematite quite typically included in these quartzes. Let's look from this angle. Uh, I think here we're just looking at the, the, the of course, the, the quartz with uh, inclusions of hematite. Lovely, bright, lustrous piece. The uh, contact around that edge actually hardly noticeable. One could actually display it this way around. See crystallization right across the top here as well. All the way from the Ott and Villa mine, Messina, South Africa, of course, no longer being mined.